In an attempt to reduce the amount of plastic pollution in our oceans, states and cities across the country are banning retailers from plastic bags and straws. That means no more plastic straws at your local coffee shop, or having to bring your own bags to the grocery store. Some localities are even banning plastic bottles for purified water. But will these measures actually do anything to fight ocean pollution? It's unlikely. To understand why, let's learn where plastic pollution comes from. A major source is rivers, but they're not in the US. According to a recent study, 88 to 95% of all plastic that enters the oceans this way comes from 10 rivers, eight in Asia and two in Africa. What about that Great Pacific Garbage Patch? The patch is a symbol of ocean trash we often see in the media. But it is not what most think it is. According to National Geographic, the overwhelming majority of the patch is composed of abandoned fishing gear and nets, not bottles or straws. If you want to make a difference and create change, the easiest way is simply to recycle. Did you know that if everyone recycled just a few more ounces of plastic a week, much of our plastic waste problem would be solved? Plastic isn't the only trash, of course. Paper, aluminum cans, and glass are all recyclable as well. And yet, we often see them littered. Recycling is as easy as ever. Simple decisions we make every day are the difference between this and this. Which will you choose? Visit RecyclingFacts.com to learn more.